Hello and welcome to DNA's Garage and today we're going to be installing our pistons. I already have one in and I left three for the video. So first you want to get some oil. You can do WD-42 but I like oil. It goes better into the cylinder wall. And make sure you do this because your piston will not go in. The rings will create too much friction and it could damage the cylinder walls. Now make sure you do the same thing with the rings and also clock the rings. So basically have every gap of the ring opposite to each other. So right now I'm putting the ring compressor so I can compress the rings and get it tight enough so the rings are compressed and they can go into the cylinder wall. And after you do that, usually the little mark goes towards the exhaust side. So we'll put it in and line, line up the ring compressor against the cylinder wall you get it nice and even and you hold it there and then use the back of the hammer and then and then your piston is, is in so right now we're gonna do a uh, oil clearance and uh, we're gonna use plastic gauge Once you cut, so, lay down your piece of wax. Make sure you get it as straight as possible. That way, it's easy to read. And when it comes to the bearing, usually however they came on from factory that's how you would put them back because that's like the best um so mine came both sides on this on the little uh, groove so i'm gonna put them the same way back and you would screw one at a time and the same amount you do to one you do to the other because you don't want to get a cockeye which basically means that the bearing was uh, over crank or over torque in one side and then not torque on the other side enough. So after checking and putting the plastic gauge on, we are right there at uh, one thousandths of uh, oil clearance. And that's uh, what these engines need on the rod bearings. And try to get some of this off. Same off of the bearing. So once you're done getting some of that off, it don't really matter if you don't get most of it out because it would uh, it dissolves with the oil. So put some assembly lube on it, and same way. You would put back your rod. So I finally got all four pistons in and uh, now I'm going to do the final torque and these are aftermarket so they are 
30 torch. So let's do that real quick. So, as you can see, pistons are flowing pretty good, no much tension, and if you do, there is pretty good compression. If you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Follow us on all social media for future updates. Thank you for watching.